What's up? Hi, you guys. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for being here. I am Philosophical. This is my channel. We healing over here. Thank you for clicking on it. We're healing. We're being our authentic selves. We're exposing and we're triggering people, apparently. Even the haters in my comments, you're making me realize that I'm actually doing my job because I'm supposed to trigger people. Just like I was triggered. So, you're welcome, okay? If you would like to donate to my channel, you can click on the link for PayPal below in the description box or you can cash at me at philosophical369. Well, let's get into some shit. Do people really want the answer when they ask a question or they want people to agree with their answer? You know, I don't think people realize how toxic this is because it, it puts a barrier up for them to actually get the truth. When somebody, like, there's people who ask a question, they ask for an answer, whether it's directly or indirectly, sometimes they don't even realize they're asking for it. And then they get an answer, but they don't like it, okay? I used to be like that. 111 it was. So, are, do you really want the answer, or do you just want people to agree with what you think your answer is, okay? I mean, I seen some shit this morning that was like... Did you want the answer or did you not want the answer? You know, and you guys put that wherever you want, okay? Because I don't I don't speak names out, but Archangel Michael, please protect me and those listening with your light. Those who deserve your protection during times like these, okay? Thank you for waking us up today. Allow me to be a clear conduit to receive whatever messages are needed for the collective. This isn't gonna resonate with everybody. Uh, and if it doesn't resonate with you, uh, keep it fucking moving. You don't need to leave a comment that says it don't. Okay, we understand it's not, okay? We understand you're not ready to admit some shit or it just don't resonate with you, one or the other. And it's like, if it doesn't and it's not a good message, then instead of leaving some bullshit that shows that you're unhealed, why don't you just thank God that this one doesn't resonate with you, okay? Okay. Allow me with no interference, please, to receive this message. I hope you guys are doing great. I sleep like an action. I sleep like a dead person. <laughs> I really do. Sometimes I gotta check my pulse, okay? I, I had a dream last night too, two, three, four, that this was my guides confirming what I said about the heroin bags yesterday. In my dream, I looked out the window and there was like um, a metal wheel. It looked like when you take your tire off and it's just the rotors and everything, right? Right outside of my door. Like trash. Something unnecessary, something that didn't have to be there. So that was my guys telling me exactly what you thought that was yesterday. Was somebody just trying to make you look bad even in the neighborhood by throwing them in front of your door? Once again, that's what I think. You're going to have to come at me stronger than that. You underestimated this bitch. Okay? All right. It's actually going to be really nice. It's going to be like in the 40, 50s. You know, when I used to roof and stuff, you know, my father and I used to get really excited when the shit went up into the 40s. You know, that's how you know that... You working in some cold weather because my boyfriend said the other day, oh, it's going to be 36. And we just start laughing. I'm like, I remember those days where your boogies weren't freezing. You were excited uh, that your snots weren't freezing, running down your face, working outside. So let's get into this, okay? But yeah, it's going to be like 50s or something. Okay. What do we need to talk about today? Something's hard to believe. Hard to believe. There's that Avenger. All right. This could either go the positive way, which is you guys, okay? Which is you guys, right? Desire to balance the scales of justice. You know, you could just be like a vigilante, but without actually uh, killing people. <laughs> or this could just be someone who is violent. Look, black magic, resorting to violence in the name of a cause. This could be these, one of these punks. Let's find out. Can you tell me a little... Can you tell me some more, please? Angel. So either... So, you, I mean, this could go multiple ways. You know, you could just be one of those angels, but like a dark angel, okay? Because people misconstrue angel, divine being, um, light worker. Everybody's just this and this. No. We're needed. The darker ones are needed because for some of you people who think that if you curse, you're not divine, that's especially for you. 
um, you're not entirely in uh, comfortable in your skin. You know how I know? Because I was one of those people who used to comment on people's things, telling them that they weren't divine because they cursed. Lo and behold, I realized that it's something that triggered me, sweetheart. Okay. A lot of the times these people who claim to be divine and I don't ever curse and I don't ever do this and shit. It's in your head, right? What What's going on inside your dome piece? You would probably, if we could hear it, we would probably be shocked. But those of us who are authentic actually just let it out. Right? We let it out. We don't hide this shit. We don't hide from nobody. We are who we are. We are who we were made. We are the product of our environment. If we were in an environment where there's a lot of cursing, that's what you're going to pick up on. If you want to pretend that you're something you're not, cool. And if that's what you are, cool, right? If that is what you are, cool. But don't go judging other people. I had to learn that the hard way. Once again, speaking on experience. Are you? Okay. Let's kick it, kick it, keep it moving. So either somebody is still trying to avenge on an angel and you will surely lose, sir. Resorting to violence in the name of a cause acting innocent or angelic to mislead others. Maybe that's someone who came off and tried to tell me that I wasn't divine because I cursed, okay? Fuck that. <laughs> what up? Yeah, right? Empress, okay? Mm, what's up? I'll prove the shit. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, somebody's like pissed off that somebody's an actual empress and I don't know. Uh, some of us are actually very dark energies and shit. And we have that dark energy, but we use that dark energy to transmute that shit into light energy. Or we can just stay in that dark energy. And then we one-up someone who came at us with dark energy with even stronger dark energy. Okay? This is just the world we live in. If you want to live in love and light 24-7, then I may see you on the back of a milk carton. Have you seen me? Yeah. What's up? You need to fight this one with this one, okay? There could be a Capricorn here. A Capricorn that, that's uh, playing victim, playing innocent, acting innocent, right? But it's very violent. Let's see. Clarify his devil, please. Okay, yeah, I feel like there's specifically a Capricorn who's getting karma here because falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. This could be somebody who thinks that they're calling on something and they don't realize what they're really calling on here, okay? It's definitely a Capricorn, I feel like, here, okay, for some of you. And they're violent. Helping those in need with no expectation in return. I mean, you could be a Capricorn who does this, too. Like I said, this shit could go both ways. So you could be a Capricorn and you're balancing the scales here, okay? But there's also a darker side of this, and there's a Capricorn who's getting karma. All right, yeah, because they come off like this. They come off, they offer, they offer their kindness to somebody. They offer their divinity to somebody, okay? Get your refund faster. I feel like maybe this is somebody that somebody donated to. I feel like people want a refund and you may want a refund. <laughs> I just heard get your refund faster. So maybe for some of you, this is like what I'm saying. Or like people who are acting like angels, people who are claiming to be chosen ones, who are making channels and they're actually taking money off of people. I'm calling judgment on all of you. Right now, a thousand fold. Uh, how dare you? Look, could be a Scorpio. Somebody's also going to drink themselves to death here. Somebody was offered a complete transformation. These are the people who were offered a new life, right? Put a death to your old shit, okay? Because this is here. Judgment is here for all the people who turned this down. All these people in this devilish energy who are acting like angels, okay? Everybody who was uh, claiming to use the word God, claiming to be in love and light, okay? When really they're violent and they're, they're nasty and they're vindictive, okay? I feel like this is like God saying, you were offered this transformation, okay? You were. And you turned it down. Yeah, heavy Scorpio energy here. There's a lot of things coming up about a specific Scorpio. Um, I'm realizing, okay, so, and for Scorpios who are sensitive and stuff, and if this isn't you, then it's not you. You know how many fucking Scorpios are on this planet, okay? The death card means Scorpio when it comes out like this to me. I have to read everything that I say. There was somebody who said something about that yesterday, and it's like, you're not healed. Those of us who can look at signs and have signs come out, and even if it's our sign, somebody says something shitty, we're like, well, damn, I mean, of course, of course of surely there's another Taurus around. I'm not the only one. That fucking narrow-minded thinking. Work on that. 
it's very important because you can take a lot of shit personal and then that, that that messes with your dome piece and it affects how you treat others okay so maybe you want to get that in check okay okay let's keep moving okay so clarify this death we are a real practice right we are real we are authentic yeah look <sighs> just give me like medusa vibes like someone's beauty is Somebody could kill somebody with their beauty, right? <laughs> I don't know why, because I was thinking of that commercial that they made about with Medusa. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a jealous Scorpio that's jealous, or, or someone, if you're a Scorpio, somebody is jealous of your beauty, right? They're jealous of what you do for work. Me, um, whatever you do for work. If if you let's say that you go to you go to work and you actually, uh, maybe you're one of those people who didn't really doll yourself up, you know. But now you're starting to like come out of your shell, and you're starting to put makeup on, or you're starting to do a little more something like self love to yourself, right? right? Self love. Okay. People see you growing. They see your skin changing. You're putting makeup on. You're starting to wear jewelry. Maybe for for a lot of you, it was like you just kind of got lackadaisical and you were sitting in your sweats all the time, you know, thinking like, who am I getting ready for? Oh, wait, ding, ding, ding. Why don't I do it for me? Yeah. A lot of you are doing this for you. 11, 11 it was. So I feel like somebody's jealous of that because I feel like somebody's in this devil energy and they can't get out of it. And this is their judgment. So for someone specifically, a Capricorn's judgment is that they have to watch you be great. They have to watch you be beautiful. They have to watch this... Look at this. I'm going to put these in order. We can call it whoever's in this devil energy, but this is also a specific message for somebody. There is a there is a Capricorn whose karma is that they have to watch you transform and show love to yourself and keep growing and get more beautiful inside and out every single day, right? Because they're in this energy and until they get out of this jealous, envious, competitive energy, they're going to stay in this karma. They're going to keep getting karma. God don't like jealous and he don't like envy. Okay. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. I think it's hard to believe it, uh, for you guys that people are actually jealous and envious and want to destroy you just because you're doing something for your, for your damn self. It's, they don't like that you're happy, right? It's like, just think about this, how toxic this is. Somebody's watching you. Let's say you have a channel. Somebody's watching you. They're seeing you grow. They're seeing you blossom. They're seeing you get better. And just because they can't do this, they want to destroy you. Fuck up out of here. Yeah. It's dangerous being in this Empress energy. All right? I mean, it's like, it's easy, but, but you got a lot of people. Yeah. All right. You're happy. You're like, mm, look, look, I feel like maybe you're buying new clothes and shit. And you're just, I just, I'm getting the energy of like, you're just cleaning yourself up. You're caring more about you. And because you're doing this, it's got somebody all up in their feels. Oh, well. Follow the lead. That's all I can say. I don't understand what the problem is here. Baby, when I think about you. I feel like making love. This could be a whole dude that's jealous if you're a female. I mean, maybe somebody's jealous that you have a person that uh, genuinely loves you to no way. It's really sad when you take those glasses off and you see the people around you for what they really are. And you're like, God, can you remove all the jealous and envious and competitive people from my life? And you're like, Are we playing, are we playing hide and seek up in this bitch? Is it my turn to find you? And then it's like, you go looking for him and it's like, there ain't nobody there. It's a shame. It really is. Let's find out who's triangulating somebody this time, right? Why is this? Triangulated you. Let's find out. I mean, is it mom? Is it dad? Is it the ex? Is it people at work with their whole it's like it's so crazy i think back sometimes the jobs that i've had and stuff 14 14 and how i was hated because i actually just did my job so many people were hired and they didn't do their job and it's like so let me get this straight like i'm not even trying to outshine you this is the only way i know how to work <laughs> you know it's like my father taught me an amazing work ethic and and the people hate you for that we need this healing that's going on yeah Who's this? Somebody's mad because they couldn't triangulate you is what I'm feeling, you know? 
they feel like somebody's watching you and realizing that like, damn, man, it's like you put the work into yourself and you have the self-love. You can't triangulate somebody who knows the worth. That's what this is here. Somebody's somebody's pissed off, disappointed, whatever, because they couldn't triangulate you with somebody, make them jealous. I feel like this is someone's MO in everything in life. If this was a dude or a chick that was trying to triangulate you and make you jealous, I feel like this is how they've been getting people to look at them in this ha ah, way because they pick somebody who's amazing, right? 15, 15, and they know they can't get this person. So they're pissed off at you anyway. So it's like hate from the gate because they know they can't get you. You probably made this very clear or maybe your energy just said it, right? Because it's usually a narcissist who does this. So then they will still, but they will connive and create and engineer and manipulate a situation to make it look like you like them, okay? They will send text messages. They will alter messages. They will act like they're even on the phone with you, okay? Somebody tried to triangulate you and they're getting karma for this, okay? Damn, that's their karma, is that they have to watch you. I'm really picking up a heavy energy of that the people who were trying to uh, defame you, lie on you, start a smear campaign, like... Um, you're proving yourself. And I don't even feel like you're even speaking on this shit. I feel like your actions, your actions speak louder than your words. Thank you. Your actions speak speak louder than your words. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And you know this already. I feel like you guys know this. And all you're doing is focusing on yourself. And this is like a lot of knowledge that you're getting. I just feel like, like you went from... Like not really putting focus on yourself, but making sure everybody else was okay. It's like they're showing me like the mom who gets up and immediately takes care of the whole house. And then that's it. You don't do anything for yourself afterward because you're so drained from doing everything for anybody, everything for everybody in the house. It's like you take care of the kids, you take care of whoever, if you have a parent staying with you or whatever. And it's like by the time you're done, you're exhausted. You're too exhausted for you. This has to stop. It has to stop, like, because then you wind up resenting your life. You wind up resenting your kids. You resent your husband or your wife if, if you're if you're a dude doing this. You resent your parents for coming to live with you. you there, it's inevitable that this resentment, when you put other people before yourself in your life, even your kids, I've said this before, you can't put your kids before you. You will eventually resent that you did that, okay? There's a lot of um, belief systems that just don't work. They don't seem to work. And that's one of them. Putting everybody before you, even your children, okay? If you're the best version of yourself and you're confident in yourself and you're doing what you're like that you want to do anyway, you're going to be a better parent, no doubt. But when you have this kind of like um, deep resentment or I shoulda, coulda, woulda, or what would I have done if I had done this instead, your kids are going to feel it, you're going to feel it, and then the whole house feels it. It's just toxic. And it's not really anybody to blame because it's, it's a toxic belief system. Um, that you live for your kids and not for yourself. Cancer energy, Pisces energy here. These could be the people watching you. I feel like somebody's watching you grow and get more beautiful and you're constantly moving forward. Okay? Constantly moving forward. But we do have Pisces and Cancer energy here. Maybe a Pisces tried to triangulate you with a Cancer or vice versa. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. Is this people trying to slow somebody's money down here? Somebody could have tried slowing you down or causing a delay in your life by doing something to your vehicle here. Yeah. I feel like they regret it though. Someone's like, why did I do that? Like, what, what, how would I feel if I came out to go to work and my tire was flat? You know, like, how would I feel if I came out and, and the car that I'm paying for had a scratch in it? Who the fuck are you to go vandalize somebody else's vehicle? Who are you? So many times. I feel like so many times these people either did something to your car or other people's cars or they attempted to do it more. And I feel like some at some point they were stopped in their tracks. Like God's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? So you know what will happen. When these people do this shit and they vandalize your car or they, or they put tracking devices on it, the same shit happens to them. It's crazy what energy does, yeah? <sighs> Candle magic. So somebody's doing... I mean, does this stuff ever work? You guys, does this stuff ever even work? Let's find out who's doing candle magic, okay? Who's doing this candle magic here? A liar. 
So somebody could have lied and said that you were doing candle magic. If these people, if this magic these people have been doing is backfiring and going back to them, and these people around them are aware of like this now, I feel like they were getting away in the past I just saw. They lied. I feel like um, they were getting away with, with blaming this shit on you. I feel like a lot of our family members and friends and just people that you were purposely placed in their life to set as a trap. I feel like these people are realizing now, like, nah, nah, because this person looks beautiful. This person's growing. This person doesn't look like you look. Yeah, like I said, in the past, okay? So in the past, somebody's being seen as a liar for, for saying that they didn't mess with candle magic and that you did. Their last name could be from A to M, okay? Tell me some more. Either their last name or your last name. Divine Masculine. This could be a Divine Masculine. Let's see. Clarify this Divine Masculine for me, please. Maybe your Divine Masculine didn't believe that someone was doing candle magic here. Right? And they thought you were a liar in the past. And maybe they're, they're believing you now. Okay? Let's see. Clarify this Divine Masculine, please. Strength for it. I knew that. Could this be a Leo? Okay. I feel like if you're a Leo or your divine masculine is a Leo, I feel like uh, in the past, either they lied about doing candle magic for some of you, or you told them about this 2121 and they didn't believe you. Okay. I feel like they believe you now. They may have gotten some kind of information, but they're really hard at saying that they were wrong and they may not have even told you yet. Okay, this may be a situation where somebody has a hard time admitting that they're wrong, like a lot of people do, okay? Yeah, could be a Capricorn and a Leo, but I feel like when this Leo was in this devil energy, it could be like, first off, there could be a Leo that we all kind of know, okay, that's doing candle magic and they lied about it in the past. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like if you were trying to warn this person about this and they didn't want to believe it, first off, there's somebody who completely lied. There could be a Leo and a Capricorn together that lied about doing this shit in the past, okay? Uh, that's why the karmic wheel is here. Um, first off, any, any kind of magic, mirror magic, any kind of manipulation of somebody's free fucking will, you guys, okay? Boyfriend, girlfriend, this could be a couple for some of you. Yeah. Every time they do this, though, because if they're doing this now, but it says the past, but every time they did this, literally, uh, the universe just kept blessing you. I feel like, mm, truth, every time somebody did mirror magic or candle magic or some shit like that, I feel like the universe was like, every time you do it, every time you do it, it's going back to you, and you're going to do something, and they're going to gain shit, right? It's just, I mean, you have to be punished somehow, okay? Yep, in the past. Thirty-six could be relevant. Somebody could be thirty-six. Let's see. Let's get a demon card. Hmm. Wow. All right. I'm sorry. I just got lost. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's uh, somebody use sexual favors. Somebody. Somebody's being exposed for, for doing sexual favors here. Look, here's that. What's the matter? You want to hang out? You don't want to hang out? What's up? What's up? You don't trust me? Do you like my hair? What do I want to look at my earrings? What, what, what are you talking about? Do you have some dental floss? What? <laughs> I'm hot blooded. That's what's playing. <laughs> I'm hot blooded. Check it and see. I got a fever of a hundred and three. Somebody could actually have a fever. They could be burning up. I'm burning up, burning up for your love. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm hot. Somebody's very hot-headed here. <sighs> All right. Okay. Focus on feminine strength. Beware of judging powerful women harshly. Maybe that's for you, dear, who was saying that my mouth is trashy and I'm not divine love nuts. Okay. Beware 
of, of judging powerful women too harshly, this sweet team. Moving on, okay? Clarify this though, right? I am a Taurus, so what up? Yeah, don't judge people, right? Because they're strong. Moon card, Pisces energy, okay? Either it's a Pisces or somebody doesn't like the fact that you can go light to dark, light to dark, okay? If that's not the case, either you are this Pisces that somebody is jealous of or you are this jealous Pisces that underestimated a very powerful woman, okay? Let's go. Hot-blooded, yeah. So we can be hot and blooded too, yeah. Uh. Don't judge them. Don't leave. Don't go. Don't go leaving them out in cold and shit. <laughs> don't go abandoning uh, common sense here. Okay. Shit. Yeah. You could be this Queen of Pentacles. Can um I said Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody completely misjudged you. They thought you were going to be in this love and light energy all the time, that toxic love and light energy all the time. You cannot do that shit. This is the matrix. This is the devil's playground. You have to act accordingly. Of course, we want to be good people, okay? But I'm some kind of sign. I feel like somebody got a sign. I feel like somebody asked for a sign. I just heard some kind of sign. So somebody asked for a sign. They got it and ignored it. Will you be ready when I call your bluff? Were you ready for when I call your bluff? For all the haters in the comments, are you ready when I call your bluff? Hmm? Hmm? Karmic masculine? Hmm? Somebody's broke now because they got with this chick, this queen of pentacles. There's a Pisces here, a karmic Pisces, okay? A dark karmic masculine, okay? It doesn't have to be a Pisces, but that's what this is. I feel like they're the hot-blooded one. They're the one who misjudged. Uh, a powerful woman. They underestimated you, Divine Feminine. They thought you were like every other week broad. I've said this a million times. Somebody was like, ah, oh, this one's cake because you probably came off, sweetheart. You probably came off more in your light energy, I promise you. But then something happened with somebody where they brought out that mm in you and somebody was like, whoa, whoa. But they didn't just leave it there, though. I feel like they kept trying to destroy you because you embarrassed them. You made them look like this big. You really did. You made some kind of masculine punk and I use that term lightly, bully, look like the punk that he really is. You, you guys who like to um, one-up women and are intimidated by strong women, we are completely just humiliating and embarrassing the shit out of you guys, as you should be. And you could be hot-blooded all you want. Just keep your shit over there, though. Now, 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 so they probably, like, they probably wanted you homeless and shit like that because it's like, how dare you make me look like the weasel that I am, right? And now you're coming up as this queen of pentacles. Let's find out what happens now, okay? Somebody wanted you broke and, and, and the universe is like, nah, that's not about to happen. You'll be broke though. A lot of us females, we have um, more, we, a lot of us have more than one spirit in us, okay? And a lot of us females have more masculine spirits inside of us than feminine. But we come off, we're beautiful and we're loving. We don't show that. We don't come out of the house and go, right? I mean, you know, if you want to do that, cool, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of us, we're very, very uh, misunderstood because of the outside and how we portray ourselves. But when you push us, you get this, all right? And people are like floored by it. Don't let this good love fade away. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? There's a karmic, either a fire sign or a water sign here who felt abandoned by an earth sign possibly here, okay? And so because he felt abandoned by this earth sign, or he only, he seen her as a financial opportunity. So maybe this is the thing. So maybe when you went into this person, God's like, I already know this bitch is an opportunist. Somebody said this in the comments yesterday that God will hide what you're really worth uh, with your gifts, with your soul, with your spirit, and what you really have in that spiritual bank up there. Because he already knew that this motherfucker was an opportunist, that he was a womanizer. He's a Don Juan. He's a liar. He's a con artist. So they left you out in the cold and they thought, oh, this bitch has nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, I need financial opportunity, right? I need a queen of pentacles and shit. So now they got with the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. I mean, he fucking drained her dry because everything was a front with her too. He probably attracted what he was, which was another lying, shitty ass uh, opportunist. 
So now it's like they're both telling stories that, that don't make sense. They're both liars and future fakers. So then they're both waiting for the other one to like have whatever this was they lied about come through, whether it's like, I'm getting land or uh, I got a settlement coming or they're both lying to each other and just waiting for the other person's shit. Realizing now, holy shit, we're both lying sacks of shit, pieces of shit, con artists. Yes, 30 minutes exactly. You absolutely, That's why you're in this energy right now, doll. I had some harsh lessons, but there were some that I chose not to have to learn again. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Leo. But I feel like this is out now. Like you exposed this. I feel like you exposed. You probably brought light to the situation and said, I have a feeling that you guys are both opportunists. And that shit never works out. <laughs> you both end up in the shelter. All right. Not knocking anybody who's in a shelter. But these people uh, completely lied about who they were to each other and other people. I mean, the, the lies that these people tell, it's like so egregious. It's like they will literally make up stories about having land in other countries, okay? They will say that they have uh, boats and that they lost all this money in, in divorces. I remember this dude was like, yeah, you know, my ex took uh, half a million. I couldn't, I couldn't tell, no, this motherfucker couldn't pay for his own cell phone bill. And I, and I called him out on this shit. I said, what are you talking about? I haven't seen you be able to pay for nothing without an EBT card since I fucking met you, bro. But they'll blame the fact that they're broke and they're a loser and they never had a job in their life on the fact that their ex-wife took everything. Bitch, I, I looked up the address, okay? You lived in a row home, okay? I don't know where a half a million dollars in a home came from, okay? Yeah, you're caught. This is the same person that lied and said that his kid had cancer to get a uh, pity off of women. Okay. You fucking lie. 3131. You lied about your child having cancer. You blow of the low piece of shit so that you could have women feel sorry for you. You deserve everything that you're getting. You really do. Little girl. Oh. Look, karmic lessons. Ha. Ah, didn't I just say I was learning a lot of lessons, but there's some I chose not to learn over and over and over again. Okay. When the universe keeps kicking you on your ass, you have to ask why. First name, N to Z. I mean, that could be me. <sighs> Past life at the bottom. Look, homeless. All right, so someone's karmic lesson here, if, they're, if their first name is from N to Z, is that they're homeless here. Or they were made to be close to homeless, so they, they could appreciate and learn lessons about codependency. Smear campaign. So somebody who started a smear campaign on you is now homeless. Okay. Son. For some of you. Is this your son? Somebody started a smear campaign maybe on your son. Okay. Thank you. Candle magic. All right. So this is just a bunch of bullshit here. I just heard hotel this morning. So somebody could be traffic. Oh, I heard hotel and then I heard traffic in the same, in the same advertisement. So this could be a situation where, like I said, I was sent somewhere to expose the trafficking in this place. Funny thing is, is when I was getting high on meth, like uh, four years ago, my boyfriend and I used to actually rent rooms here and we were getting high in here. There's a, multiple reasons why I'm here. Okay. I'm here to remind myself how far I've come from my past to actually have the temptation in my face. Okay. I said, you know how difficult it is to be in a situation where there's prostitution, there's drugs, there's, there's drug dealers and to actually stay sober. Okay. Uh, it's testing my strength. Okay. And uh, in the process, I'm also exposing people here who traffic people. <sighs> I love my job. That's what I said. I love my job. And I always have everything that I need because I'm doing my job. I'm living my purpose. Cindy. The name Cindy could be look Sacrifice. I sacrificed some shit. I sacrificed my own child. I sacrificed my family. I had to give up a lot of shit, okay? But you don't get to sacrifice me, motherfuckers, Okay. That's a, that's a no, no. Look, look, heart. This is giving me like organ trafficking shit with sacrifice and the heart chakra. I'm a sausage guy. So somebody here is being seen as gay. They're a sausage guy. <laughs> I can just get that. I'm a sausage guy. I'll bet Palooka, right? Let's see. Uh, 
Okay. Hateful. So somebody's pissed off that you friend zoned them. So this is why they caused all this shit in your life. Uh, you know who this is for you. So they're watching child porn. All right. They probably got exposed for this. Okay. You friend zoned somebody and they tried a whole smear campaign on you trying to destroy you. I just seen the past cards. So this happened in the past. And the whole time that they were hateful and tried to start a smear campaign for you, this motherfucker is watching child porn, okay? They're being watched. So whoever this person is that's watching child porn, people are watching what they're looking at. Can you guys see this? What's up with this? I don't know. It just says being watched, all right? They're being watched for watching child porn. So even if they're on these dark webs or they, they hide their IP address, these are the kind of dingbats that actually think that the government doesn't have something to do with creating these dark webs, okay? 3535, me, me and Heaven Sent and Hell Bent were talking about this. Like, it's all connected in, in a society and a matrix where everything is, is created to watch you and they watch us every day, all day. They put cameras and everything. You really think that they didn't create this shit to set you guys up, you dirty motherfuckers who look at child porn? Accused of abusing, I just heard. Karma. Because this is the person who flattened your tires. Look at this. Whoever this dingbat was that flattened your tires, their karma is, is that they're being watched. Because they were pissed off that you friend zoned them. They're being watched. And the people that are watching them, uh, they have some kind of authority, we'll just say. And they're watching this person look at child porn. So, there's that. Wow. People never, ever, ever could possibly imagine how karma is returning right now. Because they, some people think it returns as the same thing that you put out, which it is a lot. But there's other factors in this, okay? A lot of times it's like, holy shit, I never thought that this would come out because of this. Be careful, 3636. 36. Like I said, some people, devil, some people that these people were watching or coming after are actually already being watched and have protection over them because of, of an ongoing investigation. So when you come for somebody and you try to do some bullshit, you come for their stability, <clears throat> okay? And, and, and you are trying to do some fuck shit to somebody who's already being watched and protected by investigators and detectives. You're going you gonna to learn a very hard lesson. We don't go around uh, wearing signs on our shirt that says, be careful what you do to me because I'm actually being watched. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, clarify this for it once, please. I feel like somebody, let me, let me clarify this because the devil was at the bottom. I feel like somebody offered you stability with some kind of a ulterior motive um, behind it. Or this, I don't know if this is the, the past or this is happening in the future, okay? Right, okay, so they got the page of wands in the tower. So somebody offered you stability, okay? But there was ulterior motive. So if they offered you a place to live, this came out in one of my other readings where somebody lured somebody into home and offered them stability uh, only to try to cause towers in their life, okay? And that tower, I feel like, was either trafficking or uh, prostitution, same thing, but uh, sacrificing. Yeah, I feel like in the past, this is what happened. Somebody offered you a place to live or they offered you something. And then not knowing that page of wands that you were on your spiritual journey and that you had so much protection, you had protection from a force. And because you were on your spiritual journey and somebody was supposed to, okay, thank you, spirit guides. Somebody was supposed to offer you stability because you were on this journey and they were supposed to help you and give you whatever you needed on this journey. The universe knew that you were going to be falling off from family and friends and somebody was specifically placed in your life to offer you stability, okay, with the page of cups and the four of wands, okay. Because you were on this journey, and instead, right, they started causing tower moments. This happened in the past. For a lot of you, you're going to resonate with this. You're going to be like, I thought these people would have been put in my life to help me. They were. They were. But they were overtaken by something. All right. You could be this uh, Queen of Cups. Lost touch long ago. Yeah. And I feel like you were going through your dark night of the soul. You were a divine feminine going through a dark night of the soul. <sighs> King of Swords and King of Wands. Yeah. King of Swords and King of Wands to me, that's a narcissist. Cold beer. Teenage nights. Somebody's still living their life like a teenager and you're a grown-ass fucking man here. 
But yeah, you actually were dealing with a narcissist here and that is why this person triangulated you. So if you had somebody, if you're a female and you had a male friend who was sent into your life to help you on this journey and give you guidance because then when the universe blessed you, you were going to give them healing, um, blessings, miracles, breaking generational curses, freeing themselves from this bondage they didn't even realize they were in. And they instead tried to triangulate you because in their friggin' demented mind, it was like, oh, a divine, this divine feminine, which they didn't know what the term was probably at the time. All they knew is there was something special about you that you didn't see in yourself. So they tried triangulating you with somebody and you friend zoned them instead. This is the story I'm getting. They got pissed off and they tried to sacrifice you. They tried to set you up. Uh, they did a smear campaign on you. They started doing candle magic because they're, they're petty and they're weak. This is what this story is. Nobody looked any finer. Yeah, nobody looked any any finer than you, Divine Feminine. And he was like, well, I'm going to triangulate this one. And you were like, nah, bro, I don't like you like that. I don't friend zone you. It was on from there. That's what I'm picking up on. It's like, you weak ass dudes, man. Take no for an answer. You don't have a choice. Yeah. Uh, here we go again. Taking advantage of those who need help. Right. You were supposed to help this Divine Feminine, you punk. You weren't supposed to take advantage and triangulate them and, and, and try, try to set them up and make yourself look better through making them look like something uh, that they're not. You know, that's just some weak ass shit. Yeah, with your Don Juan shit. Look, I wanted to triangulate you. I didn't see that I was supposed to just be a good friend to you and I was supposed to just be a good fucking person, but I don't have it in me. And a couple of paintings from Sears. This house could have had barely any furniture in it. It could have felt like a... Uh, like nobody actually lived there for you guys who are resonating with this. It was like they, they didn't decorate it. They didn't clean. It was like, yeah, con artist, Don Juan con artist. Look, and you were the trap for this person. So the whole time this person thought that they were trapping you, you were the trap to get this person caught up is what I'm picking up here. Okay, where are we at? 41. Now this person feels betrayed uh, because the trap that they set for you is the one that they're caught in now. Okay, well. Find your closest mirror you were doing your magic in and point the finger at yourself. Yeah, and they worked with other people. They even got people to go against you. Okay? Say triangulation. Right? Third party situation. But it's always the same in the end. I feel like it's like it's like this dude, it's like that's all this person knows. It's always the same. But you changed the ending to this one, though, Divine Feminine. Yeah, because they knew that you were the shit, right? Look, they knew that you were this nine of cups energy. So you were the perfect, what I'm getting from this is you were the perfect person to triangulate to make this other broad jealous with. Now what you got, dude, is a psychopathic, sociopathic broad just like yourself who's destroyed your life. This is this is karma for when you do this shit, right? You want to triangulate somebody with somebody who was actually a good person in your life? You created a whole bunch of bullshit for you because now this bitch is psycho. This magic is backfiring and she wasn't who she claimed to be. She was like a single white female now. She's more jealous of divine feminine. She don't even give a shit about this dude. And it's like now uh, his whole life is torn apart. He's up in legal shit. Uh, he's being watched. Yeah. They didn't realize that you were the blessing. You were the manifester. You were the blessing, divine feminine, when you came into this person's life. They didn't even realize it, right? They didn't realize the future, right? Yeah, they backstabbed and betrayed their own blessings. <laughs> hey, we got something good for you. Where's my knife? Where can I stab it? Hey, uh, we just brought a gift to you. It's like, let me stop. Oh, I can't stop. That's what I'm picking up on. That's sociopathic but shit. Let me just... Dumbasses. You're just such a dumbasses. Yeah, right. You were offering them like friendship, at least something solid, okay? And they did this shit to you, right? And now they're stuck with some crazy broad who has completely just turned their world upside down. Oh, you guys. I feel like you would have been, you were there for this person, like whatever they needed. I feel like you didn't judge them. You knew a lot of their secrets. You seen dark sides to this person. I feel like you were just like, okay, like I have them too. But for some reason, this, this person, it had to be a principality. It had, they had to have allowed, see in my situation, the father passed away and he was a tyrant in the house and his spirit never left. I saw his son change and get worse and worse. And I said to the mother, you know, Tom's spirit is still in this house. And I feel like he ain't going nowhere and he's pissed off. No, trafficking drugs. So somebody could have said that you did, but they're being exposed for trafficking drugs now. Okay. Intimidated by strong women. Well, 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 well. This is... I'm 
unfortunately, it's crazy because a lot of you females have gone through this where you've had men around who are so intimidated by your strength. These are the punks who would rather have weak women in their life they can control and they can't control somebody like you. So what do they do? They try to destroy you and they can't do that either. They destroy themselves. Good job. It always works out. <laughs> but it's always the same in the end. I guess that's what they meant by that, right? Yep. Someone's world is being turned upside down here. You're closing out cycles too with anybody who's criminal, who's selling drugs, trafficking drugs, trafficking people, okay? I move people in a different way. <laughs> I move people emotionally, okay? I don't move them in vans. But um, you're closing out cycles with any kind of dudes that you feel like are jealous of you because it'll never work out. You know, you always have to watch your back. You always have to watch what you say because they'll twist your words around. They'll try to uh, videotape you and audio tape you and try to say that you're you're something you're not. So it's like you can't even hang around, guys. You're, you're able to feel it now. You're, as, as women, you're able to feel when there's a masculine energy around that's jealous of your strength. Okay, and now you're not hanging yet. It's like we were asleep. We didn't realize this before. So yeah, you're done. You closed out a cycle with this person or just that in general, right? Okay, let's see. Yeah, with devilish energy, jealous, toxic, uh, competitive. Um, I come off like I want to be your friend, but I really only pulled you in so I can destroy you. We've allowed this a lot in our lives. We're not doing this shit no more, okay? You could be a Capricorn that's not doing this anymore, or this is a Capricorn that was doing this to you, or just this devilish energy, okay? Yeah, King of Cups, a devilish Cancer Pisces Scorpio, period. All right? You closed out a cycle for a lot of you with a specific masculine here. Yeah, who was trying, you could be a Scorpio who was trying to cause tower moments in your life. They are a tower moment, I just... <laughs> They're like a walking, what is it, an I, I, IED? Yeah, they're a walking IED, okay? There's some kind of, of cycle that closed. Completion. Yeah, karmic completion. This person's getting their karma now. Their whole life is just a big tower moment here. Yep. Yeah, and you're over here like this. Go ahead and free yourself, right? Free falling. While you're freeing yourself and starting a whole new life and took a leap of faith and is like, I'm going to, I'm going to heal. Uh, I'm going to take accountability. I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to love myself again. Somebody else just got deeper and deeper into the hole that they tried to dig for you. Okay. Well, let me know how that works out. Yeah. Sneaky. You exposed it with the full card, the seven of swords. I feel like you opened your mouth and you started talking about this. Like, I'll even sing this shit. I'll even rap this shit if you want me to. We can go freestyle all day, brother, right? Maybe you exposed the fact that this person was lying about trafficking people. Maybe this, Maybe you exposed, uh, you, you were singing about this punk trying to kidnap you, okay? Flow. Yeah, you got even flow. You're very balanced. It's like I'm picking up on just like a... <laughs> right? <laughs> what, we have 50 minutes almost? Alright. Let's keep going. Tell me more. What else do we need to know here, please? What else? Look, this is in reverse. They have no spiritual strength. They have no... Could you imagine I have any, any spiritual protection uh, in, in a world where everything is spiritual? <laughs> but this is somebody who was so in the 3D that they didn't believe in spirituality, okay? Well, they did, but they believed in that dark shit. Yeah, somebody's like... Somebody has no protection. They have no spiritual strength. They're I'm just getting like a broken energy. But it's because of what they did to a divine... Look, it's because of... <laughs> It's because of what they did. You were their spiritual strength. I'm telling you guys, when, when you are divine feminine, you were in everybody's life, you protected them. You give them a coating of protection. You were the blessing. Do not let these family and friends tell you any different, okay? Yeah, you put the work in. And I feel like you were sent into this person to help them put the work in, but it was it was too difficult for this, for this man specifically. It was too difficult. Truth. They didn't want to do it. I got to get up to do that? Wait, I got to wash my ass? Yeah. 
They couldn't make a decision, okay? And you did. You made a decision to put the work in here, and somebody's pissed off about it. Yeah, look, you made a decision to put the work in, protect yourself, and because you did this, you, like I said, Divine Feminine, you were, once you started putting the work in with yourself, you gained this, like, aura of protection, okay? You just, it happens naturally. This is why this magic doesn't manifest anymore, right? You were this person's protection, and they part and they blocked it. It's like they, <laughs> they blocked it with envy and hate and jealousy. Okay, you can only blame yourself, cause yeah. And they look like a fool because of it. They look like an absolute fool because of it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Somebody looks like an absolute dingbat. Uh, because they were sent spiritual protection. They were sent blessings. They were sent everything that they ever wanted in one package and they were like mm, ah it's too good <laughs> it's fucking shit. i will be back though i love you guys